Now, I also said that I'm going to talk about TIAs, this term that's called uh, transient ischemic attack. And some people will use the term mini stroke uh, to talk about TIAs. Technically, that's not really correct because a stroke is where the brain tissue dies, as I said, and a TIA is, in fact, just an interruption of the flow that produces identical symptoms. So it's a brief episode of decreased blood flow, as I just mentioned, to the brain. Most episodes last a few minutes up to an hour, and then they go away. Uh, symptoms are identical to a stroke because, again, a certain part of brain tissue is being deprived of blood flow, but there is no permanent damage. And patients with TI should get immediate medical attention. And that sort of is counterintuitive. Most people think, and I'm included in that group, you know, something bothers you a little bit, you wait, wait for it to go away. Um, and then if it keeps bothering you, then maybe you'll call the doctor. And you think that something that is transient is probably more benign than something that's permanent. And if it just lasts a few minutes or an hour, it's probably not that serious. Whereas, in fact, TIAs are very potent predictors of having completed strokes. And this is from a study that was published uh, in a major medical journal in 2000 and has been supported by further research. This is your risk of having a stroke after a TIA. And so at two days after having a TIA, your risk of having a stroke at two days is roughly 5 or 6%. Um, at 90 days, it's roughly 10%. And that's actually a higher risk of having a stroke than if you'd had a stroke. So let me just say that again. If you have a stroke, your risk of having another stroke is lower than if you have a TIA. So the TIA is your opportunity to get medical attention, figure out what caused it, and prevent the stroke. 